Prom night is a rite of passage for most teenagers, something many of them look forward to all their young lives. But for those who seem to spend more time in hospitals and doctor's offices than in the classroom, they could well miss their school celebration, which is why a special celebration was held tonight in Palo Alto. KTV's Lloyd LaCuesta there now, live with more. Lloyd? Gracias Lucio Packard Children's Hospital has a school here for its young patients, so they felt it's only natural that there be a prom. There was dancing, okay. prom corsages to wear, All right, one, two. and of course the traditional prom picture taking. All of the usual trappings of a high school prom, but tonight had such special meaning. I missed my prom this year, so I didn't get to go to that one because I was in, the in, in here. Tonight is called the hospital school prom. The children's problems range from cancer to organ transplants. The prom is for children of all ages because the reality is that some otherwise may never experience a prom. I didn't think we'd see this day, but I'm very happy that uh, we've seen it and she has a new life ahead of her. 15-year-old Jasmine Leland of Phoenix entered tonight's prom with 13-year-old Amy Mellis of San Jose at her side. Both of them received heart and double lung transplants this spring. When I got my transplant, I could, for the first time since I was six and a half, I could take a deep breath in. And it's just, it's the gift of life. Yeah. So you might as the well The gift take of God, it. too. 10-year-old Madison Kitts of Millbrae brought 11-year-old Dominic Timpano as her date. She has been in and out of hospitals since she was three months old because of a kidney tumor. Also, I've done chemotherapy and radiation, and I've had a lot of things done to my kidney, and I just got a new one recently, a couple years ago. Madison had to be hospitalized earlier this week. And her father said she told the doctors... I've got my fifth grade, my elementary school graduation Thursday, and I've got my prom at the hospital on Friday. So uh, she begged them, you know, extra drugs, more powerful drugs, whatever it took, get me out of here. These children all share common experiences, and that's why the prom means so much. Heart transplant recipient Becca Atherton flew in from Arizona to be here tonight. It's so great to come here and know that everyone knows how you feel and knows, you know, that it's hard being a kid and having a medical condition, but they try to make you feel as normal as possible. The prom started six years ago. Some who attended one year did not make it for another prom. As we left tonight, one young patient called out to us with a smile. See ya next year. Live in Palo Alto, Lloyd LaCuesta, KTVU Channel 2 News.